Hey everybody, so what I'm gonna be doing tonight is something really different, really weird. I don't know if it's weird or not. I had it in my brain. Um, what I'm going to do, and if it's crazy, I don't know yet until I actually try it because, well, I YouTubed it and I seen something like it and I was like, I wonder how it would look on the bus. So what I'm gonna do is instead of buying flooring for my bus, which adds weight, it adds costs, and it adds height, and I don't want to add really any of those things. If by chance it looks like crap, then I'll go out and buy flooring. But what I want to do is I want to stain the bus floor, but I'm going to make a design in it as I stain it. So we will see how it looks. I'll take some pictures in between because it's hard for me to videotape and do what I'm doing all at the same time. So the bus is pretty much prepped. I've already sanded the floors. And if you noticed on your plywood, it has like stamps on it from the manufacturer. I sanded those all off. And what I'm going to do is make a layout of different patterns. And I also have three different stains I'll be using to try to make it look cool. And I understand that stain spreads, especially on plywood because it is a very porous wood. So what I'll show you the different colors I got and what I'm kind of going to be doing. So for my lines to kind of make it look like it's like a wooden floor, like has the slats in it and stuff like that, I got the ebony pens from wherever this is. I got all this stuff at Lowe's. It's pretty easy to find on the shelf. And then I got the honey color and I got the Jacobine color. I do like the harder, I mean, I do like the darker woods. So any of the darker woods that I've been looking for as far as the flooring is really expensive. I'm going to be paying like 30 something dollars a box and I don't have that much money because I'm going to need seven boxes to do my floor. So my plan is to try this out, see if it works. I've also heard like a lot of people trying to use the vinyl planks but they're having a lot of problems with them. This is just the research I've done and it's nothing that I actually know for facts. So please don't like hammer me with, well, you're not telling the truth. I really don't know. This is just the research I've done personally is that the vinyl flooring with the heat and the cold ends up popping up like this. I don't want that on my bus. I don't want to have to spend $300 and then realize it's good to do that to me down the road. So this way, at least I'm trying to make that kind of same look as a wood floor. Um, but we'll see how it goes. It might look like trash if that's the case. Like I said, I'll buy some flooring at that time. But I just really don't want to add any more height to it because I am not taking my uh, school bus roof out. I like the way it is. It's, I don't know, it just adds that unique, you know, you're in a bus kind of feel. Um, and I'm just going to end up painting the roof anyway. So, but anyways, I'm going to start working now and I will keep you updated. Okay. So I want to show you a little bit of the progress and by the way, these things right here, amazing. Just amazing. I have been using the same one and I haven't run out still and it's still pretty full. So I'd like to show you what I'm up to. So what I've been doing is I'm drawing lines with the stain pen in the floor. So it kind of looks like wooden slats all the way. You can't really see it from there. Let me get you down here. So I'm making like wooden slats so it looks like a wood floor with the darkest stain I could find. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like now. I'm just taking a little one by two for my measurements. Is it the best evenest thing ever? Probably not, but the bus isn't even. And I'm a little crooked myself sometimes. Not like bad, but just like crazy. So anyways, um, that's where I'm at so far. I'm going to take a quick break because um, this has taken me about 25, 30 minutes to do, which isn't too bad, but between the sweeping and the vacuuming and the everything else, I just want to, that's part of doing the bus and not having to do what you don't want to do. You can take a break whenever you want. So when I get some more of it done, I will show you guys. 
guys, so I just wanted to give you a little update on the floor as far as um, what I've been doing because I kind of showed you a little bit on the last video. So there is the layout kind of, I'll show you up here so you can kind of see it better. Walter's showing you how awesome it's going to be. So last night before I went to bed, I had gotten pretty, pretty dark stain. So I wanted to make sure that it was all going to look good together. But they both looked really dark and I was afraid you weren't going to see the lines through them. So the lighter one is the one that's already down on the floor and it came out pretty dark. So I returned the big can and went with a lighter shade and I will do the light on the outside instead of on the long tracks. So we'll see how it comes out. I'm hoping it comes out really cool because I don't want to spend a lot more money on this bus than I have to because it's getting expensive. Yes. It is. Okay guys, so I finally finished my floors. And I am really happy with them actually. Um, I think they'll last until I can save up some money to do um, true flooring. I might actually just keep these. I kind of like the way they look. Um, I'm definitely going to put some polyurethane down so that way it's water resistant. Well, maybe not water resistant, but I'm going to put a ton of poly on it. So unless it wears a ton, I'm not going to slap anything else on it. I'd like to show you how it came out. Hopefully you guys think it's cool too, but yeah, those are my floors. So if you like it, leave a comment and thumbs up. All right. Thank you guys and have a great night.